So today, we're gonna show a game that's way above the heads of the class because, well, let's face it, everything is. But maybe you at home can understand. And if you're Ronan Harz V and you're watching this video, just turn it off because your puny brain can understand what's going on here. Okay, I have a rule, always. Make the same mistake twice. <laughs> Make the same mistake twice. Man, the, your classmates are like, what are you talking about? Yeah. Always make the same mistake twice? Yeah. I'm pretty sure. You're pretty sure? You have to go back to the drawing board, I think. How about never make the same mistake twice? That's true. Yeah, there you go. Okay, always repeat. Okay, so white played. In fact, there might, there, there might be some, there, I heard there was a German guy hanging out in South America, you know what I'm saying? Yes. You, gotta be, you gotta be careful. Ken West, can you verify that? Yes. All right, because when I watch The Simpsons and Family Guy, that's, and if I count correctly, and I learned how to count on Sesame Street, so other than the ah, ah, ahs, I'm pretty good at it. So opposite color bishops draw agreed. All right, check and take the queen. Rook takes queen. And even most of you could win that position. Not, not you at home, but you know, here. So that rook, like me, is? Overloaded. <laughs> Walking into the worst joke ever. Man. Well, your answer is better than mine, as Groucho would say. So we will continue. Hopefully, you at home didn't hear that. At, at, if, you, if you didn't hear it, you said overworked. OK. So. What did black do in this position? There's only one legal move. Who can find it? Arjun, make more noise, please. Thank you. Perfect. All right, good job. No, he did good. That gives Ben Simon some editing to do. All right. Does anybody know what time it is? Time to resign, but Von Willie doesn't resign. He's a bitter ender like me. Well, luckily for all of you, uh, I played in another tournament. Maybe not lucky for me, but someday my opponents will get lots of rating points. Can he do it after two beers? Is it possible? I'm gonna say A6. Ah, the answer is no. Uh. Yeah, two beers is too many. Okay, takes on H5. Now, Magnus Carlsen called Guinness and said that I break the world's record for isolated pawns. Okay, <laughs> unfortunately he called the wrong Guinness and he got a case of beer. So, yeah, it worked out okay. <laughs> All right, so now, knight f5, or as I like to say, knife f5. knife f5. I was trying to find a legend we haven't talked about yet, and uh, I decided Babe Ruth, but they told me I couldn't do it because his chess game was a little iffy. So if we can call Fisher a legend, then Ryshevsky's twice the legend, okay? <laughs> so it's called overworked, okay? For example, let's say you start at 8 in the morning and you finish at 11 p.m. You're overworked. So in a correspondence game, I had the black pieces and my opponent played here and they beat me like I didn't know how to play at all. There was a good reason for that. I didn't know how to play at all. So the first thing I did was, no, I cried. Okay, the second thing I did was I take, yum, 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 yum. Okay, if it's free, it's for me. My opponent agreed, he took the pawn. Now, I like to pin things. As you can see, I pinned this microphone up here. Nobody helped me, I did it all by myself, right? Yeah, because we're both named Ben, so it doesn't count. And I moved my bishop, let's see, where did my bishop go? Hmm, oh yeah, I went here. Is that a good move? Yeah. You guys aren't grandmasters, so you can't jump over pieces yet. He played his rook to the open file. That wasn't very nice. Then I played my other rook to the open. Oh wait, I can't do that. Darn, I'll keep trying. You guys can wait a little while. Man, doesn't this thing know I'm a grandmaster? Ugh. All right, hold on, maybe if I like do this. No, nope. all right. So I move this guy up and then this guy will go here later, right? He was afraid I was gonna go knight here and take the pawn. What a chicken. Okay, and then forking not only this, but as all of my kids would say, also the pawn. Okay. Also good. <laughs> you forked the pawn also. Hey, that forks the king and queen. What about that pawn? All right, I hear that a lot. Now, he overworked me. He took me out back and over, boy, that's worked me over. That's one of them. Okay, and he unleashed, and the pawns, that's a fork, and he unleashed 
his bishop on my knight. That wasn't very nice of him. Okay, so I called the director. The director's like, can I help you? And I said, my opponent's not very nice. So they gave him a timeout. And then Arjun gave me a Kit Kat, the end. Wasn't that a good story? Did that story make a lot of sense? Did that story make any dollars or just sense? Moving his king in the corner. What a bad move, right? It's the only move, right. Okay, and the only thing I want to draw is a picture. I don't want to draw this game. I'm down two pieces, but his king doesn't look so good. Maybe it needs like a dress or something, you know, put some makeup on, then that king would look good, right? Now terrible getting checkmated. Okay, so he gave up and I won. No, that's not what happened. So I, he said, but white's winning here. And I said, I know. So he didn't like this because he's losing, but what he did was more losing. He got the prize for the most losing. It was actually a million dollars. Yeah, at least two kids believe me. And at home they're like, wow, I can lose it with a million dollars? If you don't believe me, ask Anand. Bam. Anybody, Carlson, Anand, nothing. You, incorrect. No. Anybody a Richard Nixon fan in here? Yeah, he gave up. Now, there's only one thing better than losing a game and being gracious about it. What is it? Yeah? He'll be moving to St. Louis, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, uh, Fabiano Caruana uh, is transferring his federation from Italy to the U.S. So he'll be playing in the U.S. Championship, losing to me there. The Olympiad, where I'll be coaching him. And the World Team Championship, where I'll be watching from afar. Although I won't be coaching him either. Um, so the U.S. team will be a little bit stronger. And both players are approximately 1,800 plus or minus tax. But they still play better than the Cardinals, giving up six runs in one inning. Horrible. Okay, E4, I can play the illegal move. Bishop takes E4. Or your scorekeeping is not up to snuff. Well, one of them. And in this city, they let you. So you get to, Mike Cummer knows what I'm talking about. It's like knight G4 and then resigns. Mike Cummer's like, queen F2 mate, half the games I play. To B6, knight D5, queen D8, draw greed. I don't know why that didn't happen. Mike has the two bishops and they're crisscrossing like that great rap group from the 80s. Was it 80s or 90s? 90s? My cover's like crisscross. Now you're talking my talk. <laughs> yeah. Who is worse, crisscross or, oh, this is being filmed, or somebody not good? <laughs> somebody who murdered many people, <laughs> millions of them. All right, you probably just take this. Queen b5, x clam. <laughs> x clam. That's got to be the worst square. Okay, so he's got this great defense going here. So rook e3, exclam, with the idea of rook f3 and winning f7. And black resigned. Now we'll look at our next game. No, no, I'm kidding. Yeah, white's position's not good. There's good and there's not good. It's not good. Don't, don't sue me, the Sopranos. Okay, so, well, why aren't you winning the way you played? You played rook d7, exclam. And then he played knight to d4, oh, e4. Ah, fool me seven or more times, shame on me. Anybody wins because white's playing for me by moving his arms like Donkey Kong somehow. And black is saying, dude, I'm very people over here. You can vote at home if you want. We'll tabulate the results later, much later. Would you take with the H pawn? I used to call them friends. Now they're just dumb people. Right, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, thank you. Man, that was a great joke. Yeah, there you go, yeah, he got it, yeah. Okay, okay, now the gawking rabble are always telling me opposite color bishops is a draw. And as Hikaru Nakamura would say, frankly, ridiculous. Okay, probably he would say that about Caruana playing for the US, but that's a different lecture. White thought for 30 minutes. And you guys are like, what does that mean? I don't understand, I don't understand that statement. Have any of you ever thought 30 minutes on one move? No. Right, now here's what, so Wei Yi, who you've never heard of, because you're like the worst people ever. Wei Yi is six, which has seven players rated 2,700 and above. I know it's five or six, I'm exaggerating, quiet back there. Okay, and I'm not talking to you, but I'm talking to the people at home. Now, I'm not saying he looks like he's 30 and they're lying about his age. I'm not saying that, okay? You, oh. correct. Man, yeah, that was painful. Correct. And so, welcome to the intermediate class. Yes. 
intermediate class. My name is Grandmaster Yasser Sarawan. All right, maybe not. Okay, in 1950, oh, wait a minute. No, I'm Ben Feingold, so. The thing I tell my students, uh, if I want them to win, if I don't like my students, like, like Owen, for example, then I would say the opposite. Uh, but if I like my, when I say GMs, I'm being nice, it was Bizguy or Insultus. And well, Bizguy wasn't Bizguy anymore, and Insultus was never Insultus. So I mean, <laughs> yeah. And so, I, is that right? If Ken West disagrees, I know I'm right. I see five, am I right, Ken? Okay, so then I know I'm right. It's five, right? It has to be five because Ken didn't agree. If you agreed, I was no way. Does Ken miss? I think Ken misses King F6. No, he missed one of the queen blocks. Oh, you missed the queen can block here and here? Yeah. Okay. That wasn't just. These are good games to play. Okay. Isabel, do you know what it's called when the queen and bishop are lined up on the same diagonal? I don't know. That's correct. <laughs> well, she didn't know. That's right. Uh, Grandmaster. A battery, very good. Okay, and he knew. Amazing. That's why he's a grandmaster. Okay, so my let's say black wins a pawn. Ooh, right, Isabel? And then and then we take and take. And then Nikki is gonna show the winning move for white, winning a queen. White wins a queen. Oh, it's a queen. Bishop C Bishop C5 check. Bishop C5 check. I knew what you meant. Bishop b5 check, and you attack the queen. Right. So I played queen takes d4, which is, I guess, another grandmaster likes it. Grandmaster Ken West. Okay. And that's grandmaster Ken West. Okay. Uh, and you pin the knight. Notice, to Robert Hess's dismay, three years I've been doing that joke, uh, knight takes queen is illegal. Okay. Well, when Robert Hess was lecturing here three years ago, Whenever he made an illegal move, it made a really loud noise. He's like, can I turn that off? So whenever I make an illegal move, I make fun of Robert Hess. Okay. Well, he plays for a team called the Dreadnoughts, so I should make fun of him. Right? Okay. It's true. Okay. So, yes, Isabel. H4. Yes, and I always call it Isabel because she has the same first name I do. Knight <laughs> H4. Okay. And some people say that move stinks. Pause for effect because it's NH4. Bam! Okay. Somebody explain that joke to Isabel, please. And now I have a winning tactic, which Grandmaster Ken West will now show. Remember, it's a tactic, so it's like, like some capture. You, Grandmaster Ken West twin. Close. If you knew the names of the squares, you'd show your twin. <laughs> Rook to uh, G7. No, never mind. That's the wrong Rook to G7? <laughs> oh, that's totally wrong. Man, I know who the evil twin is. Okay, <laughs> Rook takes E6. Now, Rook takes E6 is risky because Queen takes F5 check. See, that's check. Okay, so Rook takes E6. His king can't, can't move here because Robert has said so. Three mate. Grandmaster Ken West. I, I got as an easy question. White's threatening mate. Yes. How do you stop it? Because you don't want to get mated. Well, you resign. No, no, he stopped it without resigning. <laughs> See, your indolence is inefficacious. Uh -huh. yeah. Right, Isabel? Huh? See? <laughs> Remember, if he says a move, what should you do? <laughs> but I could be tricking you because, again, I used all my pieces in Morphe style, okay, which was actually very popular before Gangnam style. Now Morphe style's out. Morphe style nobody does anymore, okay? We could do a Morphe style in this room right now. He's video, we could do it. Okay, terrible. The white king, so I played king d2, got it to h6, a la Nigel Short. All right, is there anyone who wants to give a real answer? Now, a lot of lower rated players you know, like those of you in the audience, and those of you watching at home, especially watching at home. Yeah, you, that's right. Okay, terrible. Okay, all, or as I call him, Fu Man Chao, because he had that thing going, right? All right, so knife F5. Was, white in, was black in this position against Grandmaster West? Would Grandmaster West be up to the test and find the best? 
I'll wait for your suggestion at your behest. Okay, now I'm black in this position, and Mike Hummer may come in any second. I don't know how to flip the board though, so it says board. Control yeah, but come on, board does, oh, flip board. I'm not, Karawan is very patient, okay? He doesn't want to win in two moves, doesn't want to win in four moves. He wants to put you to sleep. So if my lecture doesn't put you to sleep, his play will. So we got you, we got you one way or the other. Now, most of you in this class, I could do an hour class on this. Do you know why? I get paid by the hour. Okay, right, Mike Comer? See, he did show up. I flipped the board right before he showed up. Good. Right before. Okay. Now, as we all know, C4 is explosive. explosive, of course. And you get that joke, Arjun? No? Okay. With so many arrows, black is in trouble. Okay. So also, as I said earlier in the lecture, but you forgot because it was like two minutes ago. I'm not talking to you. You're a very intelligent audience. I'm with people at home. You lazy people, not even coming to the chess club to look at the lecture, just sitting on your couch, eating that terrible food, drinking your you know, sugary drinks, and watching this great lecture, instead of coming to the club at the Kingside Diner and having some great food. Right, Mike Hummer? Exactly. All right, so H5, black wants to trade off all the pawns, then it'll be a draw. The fewer pawns on the board, the greater chances of success for a draw. And when I was in Moscow in 1984, I think I saw Arjun there. <laughs> were you there? You were there, right, Arjun? Today I prepared you for French with the obvious opening, the Queen's Gambit decline Chagorin variation. <laughs> uh, or as Mike Comer would call it, E4, E5. <laughs> Unfortunately, HBO didn't have enough money to pay me for a whole hour, so we're done. <laughs> Drop the mic. And I have to walk away. You know Chappelle's show? You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. yeah, also Turkey. He's not from Turkey because I'm a vegetarian. I don't show stuff from Turkey. Well, yay for somebody. I would say nay, but I'm horsing around. I almost played the move Queen D7 because I figured in about 30 years, Ken West would recommend it. Okay? But then I was like, wait a minute. I've never met Ken West. I don't know who that is. So then I changed my mind. Okay, but I did touch my queen, so I had to move my queen. Queen d7, not a good move, right, Mike Hummer? Uh, because of checkmate. The only move allowing checkmate, Ken West recommended. Man, it's tough when you're not here. What about the king d8? Exclam. <laughs> Once again, corrected by the audience who always can figure out how to hang mate in one, much better than I can. Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed our lecture. I did. Don't forget, send the largest donation because no donation is too large to the Chess Club and Scholastic Center or to Ben Feingold. Either way is good, but don't send one to Ben Simon. Don't do that. Okay, those, that, no, that's terrible because then he'll be in a higher tax bracket, I'll have to see his tax attorney. Student loans will want more money even though he paid them off. It'll be terrible. Yeah, all right, and as Gene Wilder said, in one of the first scenes of Young Frankenstein, class, class is, is dismissed. dismissed. Hey, they clapped for him too. Yay. You saw that movie yesterday. Mm -hmm.